Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Today we're going to be going to the Day of Lavos, but if you're playing along with me, before you do this, save your game. I cannot stress this enough. It is imperative that you save your game before doing this. Also, um, let's go ahead and change some things around. We're going to put Chrono on the Berserker. Marl will give her the Speed Belt. And Robo, uh, we'll div give him the Rage Band for that extra counterattack ability there. Now, let's head off to the Day of Lavos. And for those of you who already know what's going on, which is I'm sure like 99% of you, I'm going to give this the best shot that I possibly can. You hear that heartbeat? In the background there? That must be Lavos himself. You can feel him in the earth. It's at 124. Wow, he has it like down to the dot. But we saw this back in the future. We saw the day of Lavos on that computer screen. And here he is. Coming up at the oddly specific time of 124. <laughs> yeah, this is it. This is it. Lavos himself. Uh, we could run away for now and go back to the end of time, but no, we want to fight. Yeah. I mean, we have traveled throughout the past, the present, the future. We can totally take him on. We're JRPG heroes after all. I mean, how hard could that possibly be? So Lavos is entering his attack mode, and basically, I, I, my assumption here is that Lavos is the source of all of these various bosses that we have seen. So now we have the dragon tank itself. So Chrono has the Berserker on, so let's see, it looks like that one on the left is going to be restoring HP, so let's go ahead and try to get rid of it as fast as humanly possible. Um, with Marl attacking with her Ice Magic. Ooh, that's pretty terrible there. Um, Robo, let's see, let's actually, you know, we can hit all of them at the same time with a laser spin. The first time around fighting this Dragon Tank, it was just Chrono and Luca. But now we have, let's see if, uh, that was a 46 with the ice spell. Let's see if she does anything better with her bow. Wow, 164! Yeah, definitely physical attacks are the way to go against that. Yikes! Oh, that's not too terrible. Yeah, and we get that nice, um, counterattack there. Let's go for a rocket punch against it. See if that's any better. Yeah, it looks like physical attacks are... Um, much better than magic in this fight. Bam! Whoa, 250 damage? Yes, please! It's nice damage there. Okay, so we're just going to uh, basically just wail on this guy as much as humanly possible. It should be relatively easy to finish him off. Especially with those nice critical hits from um, Chrono there. What do we got now? Yeah, he's changing his attack mode to the Guardian Bit. I guess he's the source of that boss as well. And let's see, we'll go ahead and heal up between these battles. There we are. Awesome. Um, let's see, we learned dual tech there. So we can try to... Can I actually switch party members here? Hey, I can. So we got one dual tech there. Let's bring in Luca to see about getting some more dual techs as well. That Aura Whirl, it was the dual tech between um, Robo and Marl, and it just basically allowed for... Let's do a little rocket punch, these guys, uh, that one. It just allowed for group healing, essentially. Okay, got one down. Awesome. Um, yeah, just attack this next bit right there. Damn, got two down. Okay, so now what you want to do is just wail on this guy as much as humanly possible, just like we did the first time around. We use our rocket punch, it's really nice. We'll go for a fire. Should be able to deal some decent damage. I mean, this is Luca casting it. Not 
Useless- Whoa! Not useless Marl. God. Useless Luka dealing no damage there. So yeah, we'll just do uh, physical hits here. Rocket punch. It's really nice. Hopefully I take him out before he's able to... Um, to restore those bits like I did the first time around whenever you first saw this battle, but I don't know if I'll be able to. I mean, I'm a little bit stronger now, but not that much stronger. Woohoo! We got him! And we learned Fire Punch! Hey, awesome. That's a dual tech between Luca and Robo. Dealing some nice damage there, but what's this? We haven't seen that guy yet. That's, uh, different. Let's go ahead and change them some things around. We'll give him a bandana. Uh, what do you have? Uh, actually, let's see. Marl, let's take off this speed belt. We'll give you Defender. Why not? We'll give Luca the speed belt here. And then switch my party set up around. Let's take out Robo, bring in Marl. Have the girls here. And let's see. Oh, we're actually doing pretty well on, um... HP. Awesome. Okay, so against this guy, you want to use all of your magic spells. Just go all out on him with um, as much magic, magic as he possibly can. Because we have not yet seen him in, like, real life, you know, in, in, in the course of the game, um, he's obviously a future boss that we're going to see because we've seen two past bosses. So we're kind of underpowered for him, but we should be fine. I mean, like I said, how hard could he possibly be? It's a relatively simple JRPG. I mean, it's just casting water magic on us. We don't actually have access to water magic right now. Hmm... I wonder if there's a future party member who will have, who will, who will be water element. I'll have to think about that. Whoa! Oh, man, I spoke too soon. Yikes! Dealt some good damage there to Chrono. Oh, that was rough. Oh, he says, go ahead, try to attack. I've played this JRPG before. I know one of Rom being had. Whenever they say try to attack, that's one of you. Don't attack. But let's go ahead and heal up Chrono to full. Looks like he's being focused on unfairly. And then just wait for it. So now he does his little counterattack respite. And now we can go ahead and continue just blasting the ever loving crap out of him with our magic. And I've gotta say, Chrono's th theme throughout this entire thing. Nice touch. I like it. I approve. Whoa! Don't go after Luca. She's my main damage dealer. <laughs> Twice? What did she ever do to you? Besides, you know, burn the crap out of you. And poor Marl doesn't even have the cure spell yet. Let's see. Can go ahead and aura her. Oh, we got her. Yes, indeed. That has got to be... A mistranslation. There are a lot of enemies in this game that will attack you, and every time they do, they'll go, yes, indeed. And I remember even as a kid thinking, like, why are they saying yes, indeed? Like, oh, shoot, he entered his counterattack phase. Ooh, now he's gonna do a water wave. Yikes. Ooh, that's rough, but nobody died. We're okay. Um, let's see. Have you or a Luca? And you guys can just kind of heal yourselves up. Let's see. I think two, two, two tonics on Chrono should bring him up nicely. Okay. Okay, counterattack break. Awesome. So that must have said something else in Japanese. Does anybody know what the what, what that's supposed to be? Like what the yes indeed is supposed to be? Because I don't know. I'm confused. Just let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions there. Because I know that some of you can actually speak Japanese. I've been schooled in, in the language before in the comments section, so yeah. So like I said, we're not supposed to be fighting this 
boss, and I use air quotations for boss. Oh, another yes indeed. Ooh, this is gonna kill Chrono. Maybe we should just try to um, get as much damage as we possibly can before we die, because we will have a break between battles where we can heal in the item menu. And Marl does actually halfway decent damage with her ice spell. Woohoo! And we got him, and we learned the dual tech antipode. So what now? Ah! Zombie on the big bridge! Let's heal up, because that was rough. Oh, he's not in my party, so I can't use it. Oh, well. So, again, giving this the good old college try. Let's heal everybody up as much as humanly possible. And let's actually use some ethers, too. Get everybody's magic up. There we go. Okay, perfect. And we learned a dual tech antipode. Let's see. You have the bandana. What do you have? You have the speed belt. You have the defender. Let's, um, let's give you the... Oh, wait, you don't have it. Let's give... Let's take off this rage band here. And we'll give you the rage band. And Marl, you are going to get the bandana. That way my girls are nice and fast. And, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and give this one a shot. Okay. So, what I want to... Okay, uh, we have a fire whirl. Can I... Oh, I can actually hit both of them, but I don't remember. I... I think I don't want to hit both of them, but we're going to see what we can do here. Yeah, it's healing that upper one. So let's go after this bottom one there. We'll cast ice on it. It has been a minute since I have fought this particular monster. Oh, okay. So it looks like we have healing of ice on the bottom one, but fire um, affects the top one here. So what I'm going to wait for it. Okay, is... Oh wait, this is Chrono's turn. Let's do an antipode on both of them as well. See if we can get some nice damage there. Whoa! Yikes! Ooh! Man, that was rough! Uh, we'll go for... Can I... Yeah, I get in both with the slash. Urgh. Okay, so I'm just gonna focus on the top one. Wow. I am completely screwing this up. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna focus on the top one with that antipode because it does seem like it's a nice um, damage. Then I'll deal with the bottom guy uh, next. So Chrono, we'll put you on healing duty. Uh, heal up Marl. Yeah, that's definitely my strongest um, ability right now. <sighs> Bam! You get a nice counterattack going. Chrono, heal yourself, you... Wait, I'm going... Oh, Lucas, your turn is up. Antipode, this top one. So basically the strategy here is just to get rid of them one at a time since they do have um, elemental weaknesses and the other one absorbs what the other one is weak against and all that, so it is kind of a pain to deal with, but it's not that big of a deal. Did you just... You did. Okay, so we'll revive her. And let's just wait for Luca's turn to come. Oh no! Urgh! I think that I, I, I feel like this is going to be the time that I'm just going to be completely screwed and I'm not going to be able to pass this boss that I shouldn't be at right now. Uh, maybe get a lightning on the top one. Ooh, down goes Marl. And of course, I targeted the wrong one. Okay, so let's see. We'll just go ahead and just regularly physically attack. Yeah, I gave this one a shot, but I don't think that I'm going to be able to pass this one. It's just getting a little bit too tough for me. And down goes Chrono. Yeah. We perished to Lavos. Lavos won. We gave it our best shot. We got pretty far. And I actually really like how the game does that. The game allows you to fight Lavos any time you want to. Once you hit the end of time, you can try to... If, if you want to go ahead and grind, and you feel like you were strong enough, you can try to fight Lavos. You can try to win the game whenever you want to. That is completely up to you. If you want to sit there and grind back in the future forever on a day, hey, have at it. Give it a shot. See if you can't beat 
Lavos. That is 100% up to you. And also, it gives you like, it, it lets you like test your metal, you know, and say, okay, I, I, I can beat the first three um, bosses here, but I can't beat the fourth. And then, you know, you go a little bit further and then maybe you're able to beat that fourth one and move on to the fifth. It's completely up to you. Um, whether you want to fight Lavos, or whether you want to just continue on with the story and fight Lavos at the organic, appropriate time, that is up to you. I remember as a kid, I would freak out trying to uh, fight Lavos, but after every major story point, I'd go back to the end of time. I'd be like, how much further can I get? Who can I beat now? And in my little RPG notebook, I'd keep a little checklist of how many bosses I was able to beat, and also what strategies I would use against them. But yeah, we are nowhere near ready to take on Lavos, and the future refused to change. We can't do anything about it. And this is why I said at the beginning of the episode to save your game. Because yeah, you're sent right on back, so yeah, we're back at the end of time. We're back here, and we have three pillars of light that we can possibly go to. This one's going to take you to the present-day Medina village, which you've never been to. This one's going to take you back to the Proto-Dome in the future if you want to. And this one takes you to Mystic Mountain 65 million BC. But where are we going to go to? we got three choices. We have open-ended gameplay. I love it. Find out next time where we're headed to. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.